So how you know if the cabinet inside fit in the van if you ain't bring this thing inside the van to make sure it fit? You know how many times we would have brought this inside the van in 15 minutes to make sure it fit? Because I took measurements. Argentino. And if you've been following our stories, then you know that we are converting our Sprinter van into a tiny home on wheels. Well, we've done about as much as we can, but we cannot do the cabinetry. So we are on a four hour drive to Alabama with a quick stopover at this rest stop just to stretch our legs. But then we're right back on the road so that our friend can do our cabinetry. Before after. So this guy is so organized, right? That he has a cut list. We never have a cut list. Maybe that's why our cuts don't come out precise. Maybe that's why all our cuts are so wavy because we never have a cut list. Okay, so here are our stretchers that were just made. So in Deja, why don't you tell our viewers what the stretchers are for? The stretchers are to connect the cabinet sides together. Okay. So <clears throat> these are going to go on the top and then the back. It's going to add some uh, rigidity to the uh, to the cabinet sides. And we're going to put pocket holes in these on uh, each end. Connect them. They're going to sit up right. And they will look pretty. Cool. It sounds like a plan. Fasino and I are over here in total amazement of how easy it looks. He has all the right materials and all the tools and the workspace because compared to when we're trying to do pocket holes, it's totally different. Take a look at how easy it looks. Yeah, so right now we're trying to figure out what we want to do about the back of the cabinets. Right now, there is no back. And we're thinking about adding the MDF to the back. So we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna take a look at it and see how it could possibly come out. Okay, so, so this is the kitchen cabinets. So right, right, the side. Mm -hmm. um, Let me go around I'm the gonna, other side so I can see how the back would look. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut a, uh, a groove mm -hmm. in the side mm -hmm. that this this cabinet will back will drop down into quarter inch groove it will drop down in the back <coughs> and this when you look inside the cabinet it'll look I like that like that cool right. okay cool and so these these will be in the back back mm -hmm. and then this MDF will be in front of this y'all want back like that Back like that. Back like that. All right. That's what's up. Here we go, Nino. I can let these go. Man, that's what that's, that's why they long. That dude crazy. I'm not about to play with him. <laughs> so what are you about to do now? I'm about to uh, route a groove. All right, so uh, what's going on now? Cutting this MDF 21 and three eighths inches. So the MDF you just cut fits right into that slot. 
so now that we have the MDF all sized up, what we're about to do now is a quick little dry fit just to make sure everything fits. And uh, we'll see you guys in a few. From the inside, got a little wiggle room. Look at her. Okay. Stretch piece on the back. Ah, I see it now. Okay, so that's where the stretch pieces go that he was making right down the back of the cabinet. Okay, guys. Now that the dry fit has been done and everything looks perfect, what he's gonna do now is he's about to start putting the cabinets together. So right now in Dave Josh using some uh, carbonous glue at the end of the uh, stretchers that he made from earlier. He's going to go ahead and uh, put them inside the cabinets and then finalize them with some uh, pocket hole screws also. If you're wondering why he's using so many right now, it's because this uh, lower cabinet is going to hold our kitchen sink and also the uh, stove, so we need it nice and strong. Alright, so this is the base uh, kitchen cabinet here. Uh, we hold a lot of jealousy mm -hmm. in the uh, Sprinter Van community. Alright. Oh, okay. I'm not liking that. Not liking it? I'm not working out at all. What does it sound like? Hmm? Wow, it's too much gap. So right now we're measuring out the template for the uh, cabinets. How's it looking? So these are our angles. I'm gonna see which works best. Okay, so which one do you know which one to cut first? The one closest to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> What are you about to shave off? This here. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Come down some more. And this will sit back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shave off this goes back. Yeah, I see that. How's it looking? It's looking fantastic as well. Let's see. So after the third cut, I believe, or the second cut, we have a winner. That that's even. That that looks nice. That's even all across all these studs. So this is the template for the upper cabinets and minus we're the minus the kitchen cabinets and we're gonna go ahead and he's gonna go ahead and make copies of I guess this template and we should be having a few copies of these uh, templates ready to go to make, uh, make the real deal.
hey guys so it's been a pretty long day but before we wrap it up uh and this is going to do one more dry fit to see how everything goes and then we'll be getting back to you guys in the morning deuces So there you have it, the first box is complete. So what we're gonna do now is basically order some pizza. We're gonna make two more copies of these. We're probably gonna just time lapse the rest. So hope you guys enjoy. See you tomorrow. Shout out to Andesha for building us our uh, cabinets. He does real good work. If for any uh, van lifers out there that are interested in getting uh, cabinets done by Andesha, just drop us a line on Instagram or Facebook and uh, we'll definitely forward that message to him. Triple, quadruple, check your measurements. Like, you ain't gonna like just make sure. Like, yeah. I did that last time, and I did it when we was out there. Yeah, you're gonna trust numbers like that. Me and Sinan had like a whole okay. 10 minute all right. conversation. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Like, right. <laughs> this here. is why you it takes I mean, us like two weeks to make a box. Make a box. <laughs> this <laughs> guy. <laughs> So this is Daniel's uh, cabinet getting made right here. Daniel, this is your cabinet. The one's gonna go on over your head. Uh huh. Cause he's gonna hear it. And he's gonna say for real. I hate cabinets. <laughs> right, Daniel. <laughs> I hate cabinets. <laughs> Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe.